joking about in our class is how it's um, we hardly ever uh, make happy films and do you think it's uh, more challenging to like write a song or produce music from like a happy place than it is like out of grief or pain? I think so yeah like 90% of my songs are about like feeling the worst you can feel (laughs) 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 but I mean it's such a great therapy you know get a beautiful song out of uh, being bummed out for a while. <laughs> but, and I, I'm just kind of annoyed by the, like, uh, I guess the songs, the type of songs that the Brady family sings, puppies <laughs> is a good example, <laughs> about sunshine and puppies and stuff. It's just, not, not for me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I'm working on one new song right now that is happy, and it's the first happy song I've written. Um, because I'm happy, and I've been joking about just having like the next recording so it makes just be the worst thing in the world. So be like, I'm the happiest in the world. No one's ever been this happy. <laughs> um, but it, but it is harder. Because I think it's easier, if you're making something, it's easier for you to have an emotional connection with it if it is about, like, you remember the bad emotions. Like, you remember exactly how they feel. And if you, like, eat a really good sandwich and then you're really full, or you go and lay out on the beach and you feel relaxed, like, your your brain doesn't really grasp onto that 
emotion the same way as if you think of something bad that happened, like your brain and your whole body can almost just like wash exactly back to the state that it was in when the bad thing happens to you. So even if I start out writing a happy song, I will usually change it and be like, here's this happy story of something that is now no longer. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Like, it's really difficult to just write a song that's happy and like really believe in it and 